Research shows that few jobs are safer than other jobs, which is of course evident from the difficult time we have seen during COVID. And also there are reports about the world going into recession due to various factors which I have described in my previous video. So it's important to prepare yourself for the future. So you can pick any job which is recession proof and start your preparation from today. So one of the high paying recession proof jobs is IT. So why are we talking about IT? Mainly for five reasons. Number one, you don't need any degree to work in IT. Gone are the days when you needed bachelor's in technology to start your career in IT. Companies like Google, Apple, Starbucks, IBM, Bank of America, and many more companies have publicly announced that they consider employees with certifications more qualified and no longer required college degrees. They want to see how you apply your knowledge at work. Second reason, not all IT jobs require you to code or know any programming language. If you don't like coding, you can still pick up a lot of other jobs within IT which doesn't require you to have any technical or programming skills. So you can start your career in IT now with zero programming skills and zero experience. That's the beauty of IT. Third reason, more jobs and less people. The technology is changing every day and it's clear it's opening more and more job opportunities all across the world. Hence, due to sudden boom in IT job, there's more demand but less people to do such IT jobs and hence there's huge shortage of labor in the IT field. Fourth reason, good salary. As compared to other jobs in the market, IT pays good salary even at the entry level. Also, when there's a shortage of labor, the salary will automatically go high. Fifth reason, IT jobs are recession proof, which means IT jobs are more safe as compared to the other jobs. Hey guys, I'm Sarika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. For those who don't know me, I'm working in IT from last 15 years where I started my career as a developer, which was a hardcore technical role and later moved to different roles within IT, which were non-technical roles. So this is exactly what I'm going to cover today. So I divided my agenda in three parts. Agenda one, understand IT and the types of jobs in IT. Agenda two, how to choose which job in IT is right for you. Agenda three, how to switch careers from non-IT to IT or even how to start your career in IT. So if you want to earn high salary and you want to be in high demand, make sure you keep watching this video till the end. So let's dive into the details with agenda one. What is IT and types of jobs in IT? In simple words, we typically develop a software in IT, which follows a life cycle called as SDLC, which stands for Software Development Life Cycle. It consists of five stages. Stage one is requirements gathering, which is done by business analysts like me. Stage two is design, which is done by solution designer or architect. Number three, development or implementation by developer or coders. Stage 4. Testing is done by the quality assurance teams also called as testers. Stage 5 is deployment and maintenance done by the developer or release team. So there are different roles in IT, technical versus non-technical. So example of non-technical roles are business analyst, system analyst, data analyst, test analyst, which is quality assurance, project manager, delivery manager and many more. Few examples of technical roles are developer, which can be any programming language like Python, Java, architect, solution designer, cloud engineer, DevOps engineer, and the list goes on and on. So now you understand IT and the types of jobs in IT. Now let's move to agenda two, which is how to choose which job in IT is right for you. So for each job, which I mentioned now requires specific skill to perform those jobs. So say for business analysts, you need to be a good communicator, critical thinker, analytical bend of mind, problem solving skills, and stakeholder management. And say for project manager, you need to have planning skills, someone who can do forward planning, someone who can slice big tasks into smaller tasks and put some timelines against this and also assign a resource. You also need to have leadership skills, negotiating skills, risk management, time management, good communicator and stakeholder management. Say for test analyst roles, you need to understand the business requirements written by business analysts. So analytical skill is the most important followed by critical thinker, communication skills, attention to details so that you can write your own test cases. Now for scrum master, first you need to be aware of scrum principles. So you need to be trained and also get certified. Now in terms of skills, you need to have leadership skills so that you can encourage your team to deliver work. You need to have mentorship skills to guide your team. You need to empower your team and also you need to have coaching skills. And for developer and programmer, you need to have a hardcore programming skills which is definitely a must. Now, I have just given you five examples and that also explained you on a very high level. But if you want more detailed guidance, I have a solution for you. Coding Invaders and they have a course called IT Profession from Scratch to Employment. This course is for those people who want to start in IT field but don't know which profession to choose, whether data analytics, front-end, back-end, quality assurance, project management or mobile development. So 
This course will help you avoid the risk of wasting money and time and learning the wrong IT profession. During this nine and a half month course, you will first learn what IT profession is right for you based on your talent, strengths and interests. After choosing the right IT profession that suits you, you will start your training for that particular role. Also before enrollment, they provide guaranteed job agreement with money back guarantee. Also one-to-one -one mentorship is provided and also for all modules, they have real business case study and even the tool selections are totally job oriented based and best part is everything is designed by the industrial experts who are from Amazon, Philips, CTV and Deloitte and many more and they have partnered with 300 plus companies and they also provide digital lab to practice everything so that you can gain some practical knowledge and the most important news you can use my coupon code YKB30 to get 30% discount so go and check out the course link from my video description and don't forget to use my code YKB30 now let's move to agenda number three which is how to switch careers from non-IT to IT or how to start your career in IT. So by now, you know how to identify which role is suitable for you. So now your next step is to start taking industry specific certifications or trainings for your role. So I'll just cover a few examples like say for business analysts, if you're targeting United Kingdom and rest of Europe, you should be having a diploma in business analysis from BCS, which is British Computer Society for US and Asia, start preparing for CBAP, which is Certified Business Analysis Professional. Now for Project Manager for United Kingdom, US and Asia, Prince2 Foundation and Practitioner is a must. For Tester, which is a quality assurance role, make sure you look into Certified Tester Foundation Level CTFL from ISTQB and Certified Software Tester CSTE from Software Certification. For Scrum Master, start with Professional Scrum Master PSM 1, 2 and 3. So this is just for example. So if you're not sure of any certification regarding your field, make sure to ask me in the comment section below. Now, before I wrap this video, remember you need to identify which role is best for you in IT, which will depend on your skill set. And your step two is to start your training and also doing industry specific ID certifications and step three is to gain experience so start working for free in NGOs provide your voluntary services and also register on freelancing websites and add such experiences to your CV also any internship work which you do can be added as a work experience on your CV and the last thing start looking for entry-level jobs or internships by any job sites and add title like junior business analyst or junior project manager which will help you get into entry-level jobs so this brings me to the end of the video if my videos are helping you guys please do consider liking it as it will help me with youtube algorithm thanks for watching my video till the end and i'll see you guys soon with my next video till then keep learning <laughs>